Hey guys, welcome to Boating Tech Talk. I'm Jake, one of the technicians here with PYS. We have a question from Sean who says, I watched your video about charging multiple battery banks from an alternator. I have a similar setup. I have one alternator, three lead acid for starting, two lithium for house, and a one by three isolator. What role does the BMS in lithium play? I thought the BMS was supposed to manage charge rate, temp, and discharge. Is this wrong? Battleborn lithium batteries are pricey and I don't want to screw them up. Thanks for the question, Sean. And that is a great setup that you have. The role that a BMS in lithium battery plays is managing the cells inside the battery so that we can utilize lithium technology in a safe way on our boats. So they're actually going to be monitoring what's coming in and out of the cells so that the rate coming in and out is safe and that we don't do damage or overheat or that we're not overcharging, for example, at low temperatures. One other thing to consider with a BMS is that it is not controlling these things. It is there as a safety measure at the end of the day that if it is being overcharged or undercharged, it will disconnect them to make sure that your boat stays safe. Um, one thing with having a isolator in a lithium system is that your alternator configuration would need to be set up for either lead acid or for lithium charge profiles, but it can't do both. So instead of an isolator, you may want to consider choosing connecting the alternator directly either to the lithium house battery with an external regulator and surge protector or to your lead acid starting batteries and then sharing that charge either way through a DC to DC charger. Thanks for watching Boating Tech Talk. If you do have any other questions, please send them in and also check our YouTube channel for answers to any others that you might have.